Hello everyone, welcome on back to Alma, Missouri. So, today we are going to be finishing up the liming for well, our only field that's ready to be planted here shortly. We're hoping to plant it this month, that is my plan at least. If you can't tell, I bought a bunch of lime already. A uh, total of 16 bags to be exact. So I'm hoping that should be enough. I would, I would think so. There would be 32,000 liters. Should be enough for that field and hopefully at least the alfalfa field. We may end up buying more. I kind of expect to. All of these fields are going to be horrible for lime. So it's just going to be something that we're going to have to put a lot of money into and effort into right now. Uh, we're going to have to switch the trailer over to the auto load. We can start loading up all of... Uh, all the alfalfa bales, and I would like to get sheep today. <laughs> a lot of things to be done. I don't know if we'll be getting to the uh, harvest or not. Really only for one reason, and that's... We just may not have a lot of time. Obviously, we're trying to get things going with a new crop and everything going in. And plus, the sooner we get a new crop in, we can harvest it. And that's going to help our elemental score. Which will help our bonus, which right now is a negative. So we would be losing money by selling stuff. So, the faster we get something you know, replanted in here, we can harvest it. And it can start shooting our score up at least a little bit. We'll likely still have to take a little bit of a dip when we sell uh, the wheat here. Uh, what is it right now? Yeah, right now our uh, decreased sell price by 3%. So we definitely, definitely need to start putting a little bit of effort into these. And they're not great. They're really not great right now. Shouldn't take too much time just to you know, get it up a little bit. And I think if we get just this field replanted, harvested, that may get us to the point where it's a break even or close to break even on that. Then at least we're not losing money. You know, within due time, we'll be in the, you know, the 80s and making 10% every time as a bonus. It's going to take a little bit to get there, unfortunately. And I really don't want to start the corn harvest and have that go to, um, like, dried corn and then probably popcorn. If we're going to be taking a hit on all of the selling of it. It'll take a little while for that to all work through productions and stuff too, so. Now, uh, my only concern is we had issues with, uh, with the worker going into this field. When we did uh, the liming. So uh, I'm kind of a little bit worried that we may have that issue with the planting. And that issue with the planting would be a little bit worse. Just a little bit. Well, that seems to pull it all right. It's not the biggest uh, planter in the world, but it's not, it's not too small either. Yeah, I can see we're going to use a lot of seeds. But this is something that I do want to finish this month. Because obviously I don't really want to split up planting, because then we got to wait on the other half of the field to be ready later. So I may, at some point, go and buy a couple more bags of seeds. I'll probably take at least one turn around here, one whole circle. Hopefully they'll decrease the chances of the worker going all haywire on us. I could also send them the other direction, but then they might go into the corn. Which would probably be worse. 
Wouldn't be good if they did either one. Yeah, already a hundred liters down for seeds, and we're not maybe halfway around the whole the whole field. All right, so we're almost one full lap around the field here. I think we'll set it off at the bottom. And I'll probably go and buy some bags of seeds. I don't know if it'll work, but I might try it in the gator. I'm a little bit concerned it may not work, though. I don't know if that's like a dump trailer or dump back for that, or is it just something where I can put a bag of seeds in there and not worry about it? Don't really know. But we'll set this off towards the bottom, that way it shouldn't ruin our fields, at least for a while. They will probably kind of go off on their own, I'm sure, because the workers, like I've said, kind of have a, a bit of a mind of their own. I'll set them off. Yeah, that kind of... They go off on their own little way. I don't know if that's... Which way that would be. Huh. I think it, you could probably put a bag of seeds back here. Well, let's go and grab a couple bags of seeds, I think. See how many fit, fit in here, really, because we'll, we'll need it eventually. Well, uh, bad news. It, uh, it appears that it will just go right into the back of the gator, unfortunately. Not exactly what I was hoping for. And I also learned that a bag of seeds is a lot bigger than you would think. You could only fit one in the back, and I just used super strength and just barely got it on there and strapped it in. So we'll probably just drop these in the yard somewhere. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, though. There's 460 liters in there. I doubt we can just empty it, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Might just have that in there for a while. I'm sure we could unload it, and if we had a bucket, we could probably then put it into the planter. Alright, this did say it was done. It's not. It just went the wrong direction. Let's just get this set. Well, actually, I'll, I'm gonna just do a quick jump cut. I'll just get this filled up with what we, with what we bought, and then that should hopefully last the rest of the, rest of the field. All right. Well, we are back here. Let's send this back off on a worker. They should hopefully be good the rest of the way now. And I suppose, oh, I got to turn this on. We need to get all the bales picked up before we can do any sort of uh, lime for the alfalfa field. I think it might be best to back up in there because it's kind of in a corner, so I can't really just pull through. I won't pick it up. Might just be best just to back up right in there. That should be good. And, yep, trailer. Customize, auto load on. Hopefully, it'll auto load uh, alfalfa. The alfalfa bales, since it would be different, so. Who knows? We'll find out. We'll find out. Alright, so let's put it to. I think this is operating position now, I think been a little bit since I've used this. Blocked by an object. What would you be blocked by? Oh. I don't I don't know what to say. 
I don't know what to say. I don't know if they're, I'm going to be able to get out. All right, there we go. I'm not going to lie. I had to use super strength to get it out. It was lodged in there just right where you couldn't, couldn't back out. It was resting on the weight and the planter. So I really couldn't do much, unfortunately. Well, hopefully they don't have the issue going back this direction, too. Alright, so we got the first bale on here. We will be destroying a lot of this crop. I realize that. It's, it's going to have to grow back. And, you know, it's already... All over the place if you look at the uh, the map it's yeah it's kind of striped to be to be honest but we should only need what two loads I think in total not going to be too much. This will primarily just go to sheep. I don't think any of this will go to like cows or uh, uh, horses because the horses do, do require more than just hay. They require oats and stuff too. And the cows, I believe, if I remember right, the percentage... Oh, I forgot it does that. <laughs> the percentage that hay does, or alfalfa does, is far... It's like 10% less than what it is, like, base. Because base, you're talking, like, 80% for efficiency, and it's, like, 70. So it's not quite as good as what you'd want it to be. <laughs> Let's get this back up here. We'll kind of store it probably on uh, by the big shed there. Uh, kind of on the outside. And I think we'll uh, slowly kind of bring them over to the sheep as, as they need. And as we get sheep. I'm not sure how many we can hold in this pen. I don't remember. Probably a decent amount. We maybe we look to do clothing, maybe. Clothing is a pretty good bet usually. Right, so let's try not to get too far here. Yeah, I gotta hit unload and then do that. There we go. Alright, I think that is all of them. I think. We got 12 here, 28 there, so that'd be 40. So yeah, that would be... That would be all of them. Alright, so let's get the lime here. We can get started on that field. Nice part is we'll be kind of next to the workers, so we can kind of verify they're not going to be planting soybeans into our alfalfa. You know, them doing a little bit of lime spreading, that's not the end of the world. You know, I was, I, I'm going to do it anyways, so it's not the end of the world. But if they plant soybeans into this, that would not be good. So, more than likely if that were to happen, I can, I believe in the dev mod set a field. So I could probably do that if that were to happen. Well, yeah. Well, it looks like we're going to be using just about the same amount of lime on this field as we did on the one that we're planting right now. So I'm sure we'll be going through plenty more bags. Probably, probably have to buy more once we get to that field. It is the cornfield is a very big field, so I kind of expected we'd have to buy some. Just I was hoping it wouldn't be too many. 
Yeah, I'm just going to do a time lapse. We'll hopefully finish up this field fairly quickly, and then maybe we can hop over and finish up the planting. So we're almost done with the spreading of lime here. And of course, they stopped again. I don't even know how many times it's been that I have had to stop and uh, put them back doing their job. I don't know. They don't seem to be doing a very good job on this field. Oh. Oops. Yeah, they basically make it to one end, maybe they'll, maybe they'll turn around, and then they'll just say, yeah, I'm done. I don't know, I think it might just be because it's kind of getting to the, the part where it's going to start going more smaller and more narrow. So it might just be tricking the worker, thinking, oh, I can't turn anywhere, when it's like right there, actually. Well, we ended up with 5,500 liters left in this, which... We'll probably not get very far on that field. We'll probably have to buy another 30,000 liters or so, I'm sure. Easily. Let's try to get this backed up into the shed and then I'll uh, buy some sheep. A total of 300. Wow, that is a lot. Um, I kind of want to buy them when they're younger. It's cheaper. How many is 10? 2,000. 2,500, about. So we could spend 10 grand and get 40. I think that's what I'll do. And 10 there, and we'll do like six of these, and we'll do four that are a little bit older. That way they will reproduce, and we'll get some more. I just don't want to spend too much on that part of it. So let's take a look-see. I suppose it doesn't say how much they'll... Need they won't need water, which is nice. Um, if I remember right, I think. Yeah, I don't think we go here, right? Yeah, this isn't the dump place. It's in here. Use even more, it looks like. Whoops. <laughs> this is a little front heavy. Just a little bit. Didn't seem too bad on the, the last two, but... Pretty tippy on this one. They should be good with that. 300... They'll end up eating a lot of food, I'm sure. I would imagine. We might be doing a little bit more alfalfa soon, then. Well, at least almost done there. Yeah, this is almost full, so they probably hold about 50,000 liters. So yeah, we'll uh, have to make sure we keep an eye on them. I think as we start getting more, we may look to do some sort of clothing factory or something.
Just because there's so much money in clothes. So, so much money. I don't think there's any unique things on this map that have to do with fabric. At least not that I can think of. If I do happen to find some, then obviously we'll have to get some fabric for that. But Otherwise, I was thinking to use the, the modded one again. I've used a handful of times in other series. It's just a straight, you know, cotton or wool right to clothing. I'm pretty sure it's about the same recipe if you were to go to fabric and then to clothes. But it is a mod and it it has been kind of nice for us. It really has. I think I used it in Court Farm and I used it on the Calm's Den one year challenge too. I think that's the only two I've used them on though. But it's been a been a heck of a good good mod for me. Saves a lot of space, that's for certain. That is for certain. Well, I may just do a short little time lapse. We'll just finish this field super, super quickly. Yeah, I will talk to everyone no, once the time lapse is done. Just like that, we are just about done with this field. Of that little bit there, and I believe there's probably a little bit at the the other end that was missed, I'm sure. Usually is. Whenever we did, what, lime harvest, I think every time something's been missed right there. So we'll just head, head on down there. Get that sorted out. I'm not sure if these lines are places that didn't get planted. Or if it's just like right on the edge or it is just showing lime. I don't know. There's other parts that don't look to be planted but look like we actually went over it. So This will be the rest of the soybeans. The last bit. This will be a good crop for us, I'm sure. Um, which, uh, we do need money. We have yet to make any money at this point. And, well, we spent almost 70000 so... A little bit more money would be nice right now, and I don't think we'll be getting any until probably selling the wheat, which may be next episode, maybe the one after. Uh, we may want to think about selling that before the corn harvest. Because the corn harvest may cause our environmental to dip even lower which could obviously cause some issues for us uh, even a bigger decrease in selling price all the things we do not want to happen but we'll check right now we're at yeah two percent so it's gotten better I, don't, I didn't think, uh, oh, I suppose it would get a little bit better because we did do direct. Direct, yeah. That would account for soil sampling. So it would get, it did get a little bit better, but it will, it will drop whenever we do that, that harvest there. But we'll see. I think, um, highest January it shows, but. Maybe it'll be decent next month. We're looking around 1,200, so maybe. 
Anyways, that is everything for today. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.